Okay, I'm going to go over some basic page um, concepts. Uh, I'm going to get out of the customize, go to my pages, and I'm just going to edit my home page. And let's just go over these again, um, some of these real quick, because I've already gone over these twice with you. And again, I want to talk about customizing your code as well, and um, maybe customizing the CSS. Now I'm customizing certain things, so let me just quickly go over again. This is your uh, main text at the, on the top of the page. I'm going to change that. Um, if you want social media, or you want to be ranked inside of um, Google, I think that was one of the things we last left off with last class and uh, the first plugin I'm gonna go over today again is the social not social media but the SEO plugin I think we covered this last week but I'm gonna cover it again because I find it very important remember is if you are going to go to Google and you type in my favorite product is the um, um, zircon exit point okay my favorite product here it is. Okay. So here we go with our Zircon Exit Point XL through hole drill guide by Zircon. So this will show up in Google. That is the title of the page. And then of course this is the slug, right? The slug. I showed you how to change that. I'll review that real quick. And then this of course is the description tag. This is the description tag. So by default, WordPress doesn't have a description tag, so you have to add a plugin to be able to put this in there. Okay, and the plugin, of course, is which one did we use last week? Do you remember? It was the SEO. Yoast, right? Yoast. So, as I'm building my page, you since I'm I'm at that point, I'm gonna start right here. See, I'm at this point where I should put that stuff in there. So. Before I even start putting that stuff in there, I'm going to go down here where it says plugins. I'm going to install and add a new plugin. Um, uh oh, I guess I, I'm going to have to wait. Do something here. Let me update first. I'm going to update my page. Now go and install my new plugin. And the one I wanted was Yoast SEO. Oh, it's waiting. Waiting. Maybe, is there one above ultimate I can buy? Yoast SEO. And that's this one. And so again, this is a great one because it adds all that great stuff for Google. Install now. and activate and then if I go back to my page now where I was building that page right I was on the home page where's my home page oh here it is I changed it to art, art. Uh, edit You'll notice down here towards the bottom is where my Yoast SEO is. It'll show you what it looks like inside of um, inside of uh, Google. So again, it gives you like a little look. Hey, this is what it's going to look like in Google, right? And so you can go and change it. What are some of the things you could change? Of course, the slug. You can change that. What would you might change it to? Well, I could add more things than just ceramics there. I could call it Raskoff ceramics, right? Even though the page is still called ceramics or whatever, this is right it should be Raskoff media art so I can change this is what I'm trying to say as well as of course this is you don't want it to say home I want to have my description in there and then in addition you can put keywords in there but of course keywords are not very good because uh, Google doesn't use keywords but other search engines might I don't know does anybody know Bing uses uh, keywords yeah, they, all do. they all do Bing does everybody but Google <laughs> even Google does even Google uses keywords somewhat. They, 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 they claim they don't, though. They, they search on keywords. Okay. If, if your keywords don't match, they, they, they downgrade you in your ranking. Okay, so make sure your keywords are good. And do we put commas between keywords? No. No. Okay, we used to, but then sometimes we got away from that. 
So again, keywords would be a list of words. So you can edit right here, and you can give your title, your page a title. I'm going to call it uh, Raskov Media Art for Sale. You guys get a free one today. You can change the slug name. Um, I might say Art for Sale from Raskov. Media. Mixed it up a little bit. See how I switched it around, but still use the same words. And then, of course, you can write your meta description there. Well, how how many characters is a meta a description tag? It's 150 or 200, I think, something like that, right? I don't know. I guess we go to Google and count. Do you remember the example that I was showing you? Google limits you, right? What was it? I had a zircon. Um, um, exit point, right? And of course, oh, this one has three. Look at that, three lines. How come they get three lines and I only got two? Home Depot, maybe because they advertise, right? Look, this has three lines too. Look, and this guy only has two. Don't know, but there is a limit to to how long your um your um description tag is so I can write all kinds of stuff the greatest art on the planet made by okay and look there's a little bar that's showing you how many so it's giving you a little limit right and then of course keywords we can put in art Raska media, ceramics, and so on. And then, um, do I have to save this? I don't know. But you get the idea. Do I have to save this? Close snippet editor. Go, oh, there's a premium option. Oh, Facebook. Boy, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Probably worth paying for if that if you're gonna really use this. Update. Okay, let's talk about um, changing our content on our page. Again, we have um, our title at the top. Uh, our permalink, I guess, is being changed by the SEO. I'm not really sure. And then. Um, Let me quickly go through these again. Um, bold, italic, score, list, quotes, horizontal line, left to line, links, and so on. Uh, let's review the links. Um, this is the finest in ceram ceramics. So in this case, um, if I want to have a link, there's two types of links, right? You have your absolute link and your internal link. So the link option is here. So let's say I, I want them when they click on the word ceramics here to go to the ceramics page internally on my site. I still use the link option here. And when you go to the uh, option here, it'll allow you to choose the page by clicking on it. Okay, so again, click the link Clink the little um, clog. It was like a little wheel, clog wheel, right? Takes you here, and you can then choose which page you want it to go to, and then say add link. Okay. Did you see that? Again, it was here. Choose the one you want. Um, let's say you want to have an external link. Go to higher fire. So Hire Fire is the studio where I, I fire my ceramics. I want to link to that. I can go to the Hire Fire website. Nope, fire. I don't need to R at the end. I can copy their link. I can go back to my, um, my um, WordPress, highlight the text, go to the link, and then type it in. 
Remember when you're doing links, um, if you want, you can edit or, or hit the options and, of course, open the link in a new window. Right, that opens in a tab above your thing. Remember that? You might want to open a tab above your screen. So we've already done that a couple times. Um, so links, links, links. Uh, we already, I don't have to go over how to add pictures, right? You guys already know how to add pictures? Okay, I'll add one picture. How about that? Well, let's go and, and remember creating a gallery. And you also have a whole bunch of uh, plugins you can use to add things like slideshows. I think we, we did a slideshow plugin, right? I don't have to go over that again. Okay, good. So let's um, grab an... Let me, oh, I don't want to do that. Let me just uh, upload a picture. I have another photo somewhere. Oh, here it is. Berry bowl. Nobody buys berry bowls. I had a sale last week, and, you know, all these people were buying all this fruit and all this berry over there at the farmer's market, and no, not one person bought the berry bowl. I said, Look, you need to wash your berries, don't you? Nobody bought the berry bowl. Again, you should add some uh, alt text here so that people that can't read it can it can it can talk to them it's a berry bowl in addition you can have a caption that shows up underneath your picture berry bowl there's also um, some great plugins that you can use for um, adding pictures and stuff like that so there's your berry bowl uh, what else did we go over um, uh, we added a map and we added a video. You don't need me to show that anymore, do you? Right? The video was from YouTube. Let's do that real quick. Um, you can go to your video page. Of course, YouTube's the best place, right? Um, and uh, where is mine? Mine is um, user to film there it is videos okay let's find a video fun video fun video fun video oh here we go whoosh Oof, that was loud. Okay, this is a fun video. We can add that to our page. So we attach the GoPro to a drum in the marching band. And as the drum moves around the field, the GoPro follows it. It was fun. Okay, so we can add that real quick. Again, you just put the, the link in there, and it should be there. No, didn't show up. Whoosh, look at that. No? Usually it shows up. What did I do wrong? Oh, it showed up. I had to update. Okay, so those are common things. Uh, remember, um, you got your paste text. Remember this? If you want to copy text with links, if not with links, you can clear your formatting and so on and so on and so on. This is indent, decrease indent. And then, of course, how did we do the, this one, the read more tag last class? Was it I had to type the text in first and then highlight it and then click that? We never got it to work. No, I did get it to work. Oh, I never got it to work? Oh. Hmm. I thought I did get it to work. Okay. Then let's avoid it. <laughs> how about that? We didn't get it to work. We didn't get it to work. Okay, uh, quickly, let's talk about um, um, how to alter your content by hand coding. Whoosh. So uh, let's think about theory for a moment. How WordPress works is it's a combination of HTML, PHP, HTML tags, PHP files, and CSS files, and some JavaScript probably, all mixed together on a server. You can access that server. You can also, um, and so on. So, probably the main place, of course, is to ed edit the internal text or HTML on a specific page is this one, right? This one right here. Shows you your 
tags right there so you can actually hand code inside a page which is fine right there if you want to alter the CSS now of course the CSS is altering the look of things like the background color the um, text the font and all that stuff to access the code for that is underneath settings oops I guess I gotta wait stand let me update sorry Ooh, update okay settings and then um, under settings uh, where is it uh, reading writing discussion media wasn't it under settings no tools I'm so sorry tools is it under tools no where is it I swear. What's in? That's it. Editor. So sorry. Appearance editor. There we go. So here's where all your code is hidden from you. And of course, here's all the files over here. As you add plugins, they will add files over here because certain plugins require certain files. Again, you can click on each one of these and make changes if you are bold and brave. If you're bold and brave, right? Okay, so um, some of the ones is 404. If you want to have a custom 404 page, you can customize your What is a 404 page when it can't find a link, right? So you can customize your 404 page to say what you want it to say. So let's say instead of it says, right now it says uh, error 404 not found, you can actually, I see some people put the site map in there, right? Hey, you're lost. Maybe you want to click on one of these, right? So instead of having the plain 404 page, you might have a site map. So the site map is basically a list of all the pages in, in your site that the user can click on, right? Uh, archives, I don't think we really have because we're not you really using a um, blog. Comments, I guess you can alter your comments. We're not really using comments. Theme footer, this is where we could alter our footer. Um, right now it usually says WordPress, right? Fires before the 2016 footer text are on footer. What does it currently say? is proudly powered by 2016 let's change that um, what's copyright oh, I don't know how to put the copyright symbol in if I did the numpad right if you had the num but how do you do with a numpad on a laptop does anybody know because if I had the numpad I just put zero one six nine right yeah how about we don't use the copyright we just put our name down there How about that? There we go. How about that? So instead of having your um, WordPress information at the bottom, I think you could just alter this right here, right? Maybe just delete that. Delete this. I don't know. Let's see update file and that was the footer one right there so um, I don't know let's visit the site and see if it shows up yeah oh is this no no didn't I write something else I don't know where was I at that was under appearance editor I thought it would show up I guess I didn't do it right but Somewhere in there, I think you can alter the theme, the footer. Looks like you can put some info here, maybe. Fires before the 2016 footer text or footer. I don't know. Oh, maybe you put it in here. How about that? Let's try that. Let's see if that shows up. Dole! 
Boy, you made a mess, didn't I? <laughs> now I have an error, see? Don't mess with the code. <laughs> now it's all messed up. Where was that? Was it, that was in here? I messed this up, didn't I? Okay, so how do I fix it? I guess I shouldn't have deleted everything, right? You should make a backup before you do that, right? Go back in time. Okay, let's move on. I get an error now. I have stop after the slash. It was common area, isn't it? Where? The Jeff slash Jeff with a star. It was a asterisk. One. One asterisk. Uh, that was for comments, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Just make sure you make a backup before you do that. And then what else? Um, theme header, I guess this is another one. Hmm. What's that? Um, I would copy and paste it. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't. I don't really have an answer to that. Yeah. I, before I changed it, I should have copied the original and put it back. Then here's the style sheet at the very bottom. So here's the uh, CSS file. So down here you'll see all kinds of CSS whoosh so if you know how to um, you know make a mess this is where really you can make a big mess okay I've successively changed it in the past um, and it's worked but keep in mind certain things are duplicated in here so if you change it in one spot you might need to change it in the other because just like CSS it's sharing code from one area of the CSS file to another area of the CSS file so if you think you're just gonna go and change one thing it might be actually used somewhere else that you might need to change it twice right so don't think you just go and change the background color here which I've successfully done but it wasn't that easy and you can see how big it is too. look how long this CSS file is Look at that. It's a pretty long CSS file. And like I said, certain things are used in multiple places, so it's not that easy to change. Look at that. Okay. So uh, I would do my best to avoid messing with the code too much. Again, it was under editor, editor here. Um, my page still messed up my site still messed up oh I fixed it thank you with your comments okay anybody ready to move into some plugins you guys ready okay so you you know how to make a page we looked at a made a menu we looked at it change the background we looked at how to mess our page up with the CSS and the HTML whatever PHP um, first let's go to the um, I, I put some stuff on canvas I believe with some um, special plugins you might want to use so on canvas under um, the blog site here um, here's some handouts I thought I had two handouts oh I think they're both in here oh here they are So um, this handout talks about um, adjusting the theme, just the kind of things I've already showed you just today. Um, remember how to search for themes, um, how to change it. Oh, and here's the CSS. I talk about that. Oh, yeah, look, under Appearance Editor. See, even in my handout, I knew where to find it. I just didn't remember. Again, it's under Appearance Editor, and that's where we changed the CSS. So uh, here's a list of some of the plugins you might want to get. Again, the probably the the easiest form I think we did it last class, right? Was the content contact seven? Did we do that one last class, right? Um, I can review that one again. Again, one of the one of the 
one of the easiest and probably best easy easiest forms um, is under um, where were it? plugins install add new plugin and probably the easiest one as far as making a form is contact um, seven contact seven wasn't it oh form seven there it is contact form seven that was an easy one but of course there's all kinds of other ones especially if you have maybe let's say you have constant contact right I'm sure there's a constant contact one don't people sign up for constant contact right that's a and then and, and, and MailChimp right people use MailChimp right MailChimp MailChimp there it is so MailChimp um, what's another one? Constant contact, right? Constant contact. So if you have a constant contact um, account, you can set that up. I'm not sure which one is the one that looks like there's a couple different ones in there. Again, when you're looking at the plugins, make sure you look at how many users are using it and maybe their stars. I would avoid things that only have maybe a few users. Um, I bet students look for. Um, oh, let's get back to the handout. So, constant con contact form seven is the easiest one. Again, there is a list on the WordPress uh, site of all the different plugins you might want. You have popular ones, you got featured ones, popular ones, favorite ones, beta testing, and of course developers. Um, the jetpack, increase your traffic, view your stats, speed. So this is this used to be a default one that was built into WordPress. I don't know why they don't have it anymore. Um, I don't know what what is Buddy Press. Buddy Press helps the site builders and web press developers and community feature to their website with user profile fields active. I'm not sure about this one. Helps site builders. Of course, this one stops people from um, spamming your um, your contact or your 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 comment area. Um, theme check, and then a lot of the plugins you'll see are for caching and storing of data. And some of them are popular, and the reason why is because um, you know WordPress is 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 very server intensive. So there's a lot of plugins for caching, like this super caching and so on, which allows it to speed up your site. This plugin generates static HTML files from your dynamic WordPress blog. After HTML file is generated, your web server will serve that file instead of processing the comparatively heavier and more expensive WordPress PHP scripts. This static HTML file will serve as to the vast majority of your users, but because a user details are displayed in the comments form after they leave a comment, those requests are handled by a late legacy caching engine. Static files are served too. So it looks like how this works. This one is it, it makes it converts your, your PHP file to an HTML file and then serves that, which of course would be much faster than having to go and process the um, file every time, right? At least that's what it seems. Though it did get 122 uh, negative reviews. You want to read a negative review? Let's read one. Does not work. It overrides mobile theme. Broke my site. Not support. Crashed my site even after install. So, looks kind of scary. I don't know. So, um, let's just look through. Uh, there's a bunch of WooCommerce. If you want to have e-commerce, there's different ways of doing that. Uh, the WooCommerce. I haven't really done that. Yes? I didn't make it live. I might not have made it live. Hold on. 
I gotta go back to canvas. I, I sometimes forget to make it live. Yeah, I forgot to make it live. That was my comment missing. So I forgot to make it live for this handout I'm talking about. Okay, let's go back. Um, I think we looked at this last class, but we can look at it again. This was the 37 important plugins, right? Did we look at this last class? No? Okay, so these are the 37 essential WordPress plugins you should know. At least this is an article I found. Okay, I don't know. These are suggestions from WordPress developer. So let's look at the 37 most important plugins. Uh, Hummingbird. The average visitor to your site won't e wait even eight seconds for your site to load, and Google recommends your site load. Okay, so caching is one of the best ways to speed up your site. So I don't know about this caching, but supposedly. It's, it's a real problem the way that WordPress works, so you might want to try some kind of plugin that speeds up your site. There's one called Hummingbird. Uh, here's another one, Total Cache. This one is very popular and it has over a million users. I know that. This one, um, W3 Total Cache is designed to increase the page load speed for WordPress. So, again, this one is a speed loading one. Uh, Defender looks like it's a uh, way to. Um, Keep out hackers. Of course, how much do they cost, though? I don't know. Let's see. How much does this one cost? It's not going to tell me. It doesn't tell me. $49 a month. Whoosh. That's pretty good. Uh, Jetpack is always very popular. Again, this is the one um, improves performance also. Spam free comments, social sharing. This one I think is free, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, there might be a premium setting, but this one I think is free. And so, um, again, this is the one that, that blocks people from commenting. This one's free too. Um, of course, Google Analytics would be for free. Actually, Google has their, uh, an entire plugin section on WordPress that they go over all the different plugins that you could use with Google. Um, they have a whole section. I think I have a link to that for their sitemap, XML sitemap. Um, this must-have plugin will automatically generate an XML sitemap for your site. Having an XML sitemap is crucial to helping search engines better index your blog. So it looks like it's making kind of the robot.txt file. You guys know about the robot.txt file? It's basically a file that that um, Google uses to um, categorize your site. It makes it easy for Google to search your site because it can go and read the robot.txt file and then automatically um, uh, know which pages are on your site. It looks like it's probably doing something like that. So this would be if you're marketing your site. Um, I'm not sure what theme. Theme. I theme security. Looks like another. Oh, there's our contact contact seven form, right? Contact seven form. Very easy to use. I think we d demonstrated this last class, where you build your pages. You can put. You can put. Um, um, different you can even use radio buttons you can use check boxes and you can have it automatically go to your email um, snapshot back up your site can save you from a lot of future great <laughs> griefs there you go did your site go down was your site just hacked no problem just restore your site from a backup and it's a good as new there you go I don't, you can back up your site yourself, yes. And GoDaddy has options for me to do that, and you can do that too, yep. I wonder how much this one cost. You guys ready for a sticker price? 14 days free. Sticker price. Uh, 
<laughs> no, it looks like it, it's a group together. That's why entire for free. I think they're grouping all these. No, it looks like they're grouping them all together. You get all of these plugins for one price, fifty dollars. So it looks like they're group, grouping them together there. Well, Contact 7 is free, right? Jetpack, so there's some free, yeah. Ultimate branding. When you're running a WordPress site and a business at the same time, you know looking professional is important and just as crucial. So this looks like a, a logo designer. Um... This looks free. I guess when it says details, it's probably free with upgrade, maybe. Yeah. Oh, here's free trial and pricing info. There you go. Oh, it always goes to this page. Why? I don't know. Every time I click, it goes to this page. Oh, that's why. Okay. Appointments. I've had students use the. Um, I had a student one time who who was making a site for uh, hair hairdressing, right? And she put an appointment uh, book on her on, on my server. You know, just using my account, and it worked fine. Where people could make an appointment and stuff like that. So if you want an appointment kind of thing, just look up plugins. I don't know, remember which one she used, but she was able to get it to work. So there is an appointment one. I know that. Appointment plugins. So there's a, um, and then of course e commerce ones I don't really use. I'm sure they're pretty easy to at least figure out. The hard part is setting up your accounts, probably. Not actually building it, but you know, do you have yourself your, um, you know, um, PayPal account and so on? Um, I was helping um, this student. Um, not a student, this this person. And she had a, a PayPal account that we were setting up. Um, sign in or create an account. So she had an account here. And, um, I don't remember how we did it. But she was able to get it to work. I don't know if I like this. Let's continue. Um, so that was the membership. I guess you can sign up to be a member. Membership 2 Pro can do it all. You can offer free or paid membership, present content over time, offer free trials, customize a registration form, and protect anything on your site from posts and media to plugins and categories. You can also customize or assign default rule user rules and use short code to protect anything, including only part of the page to post. So um, some of you are interested in having members on your your site. Um, I'm sure there's plugins to do that. So these essential plugins are actually sort of biased. Yeah, this is an ad. Yeah. This is an ad from us. I don't know. I searched for you know best. I think I just typed in best uh, WordPress plugins, and I got this page. I thought, hey, we might as well just go through them. You know what I mean? And so yeah, I don't. This page is not from WordPress it's from a company so they're biased yeah but it gives you ideas of different types of plugins you might use right like the membership one the e-commerce one especially with your theme because one of the problems of course with plugins is that they have been written, you know, and they might be sitting in the plugin thing, and they upgrade the WordPress, and or the theme gets upgraded, and it doesn't work with your plugin, right? So I would make sure whatever plugin you choose works with your theme. Or that they update regularly. Or they update regularly, yeah, for sure. Remember, hackers are always trying to hack their way in. Probably the best way to get in is through a plugin. 
smart scroll, scroll crawl, smart crawl. That's an SEO plugin. Yet another related post plugin. There you go. What a name there. Schmush Pro. Um, this one came recommended um, by me. The Smush Pro. Um, Is a way to compress your pictures so that they are smaller. So if you're having problems with, uh, you know, a site that has too many images and they're, it's slow, this one was somebody told me about already is a good one that compresses your pictures so that they are smaller so that your page loads faster. And this is uh, Smush Pro. I don't know. I think it's free probably with a pro version, right? Probably has a free version with a pro upgrade. But that one came recommended by somebody to me. Yeah, these are probably, if you go to WordPress plugins and type the name in, I'm sure it'll show up. But like I said, how I found this was, was I searched on Google. I think I typed in, you know, best WordPress plugins and I hit search and this page came up. I said, oh, let's go through this with the students. You know, I don't know. Here's another loading one. Again, you see the, the theme here, you know, loading is a major problem. Speed is a major problem with WordPress. You see all the different um, plugins to help your page load faster. There's so many of them. The reason why it must be a major problem, right? It must be a major problem. There's another one there. Oh, here's the duplicator. This is the one that is this the one that you used to duplicate yours? Is it this yeah. one? You used a different one? Yeah. yeah. But this might be so let's say at the end of the day today, you rely on what you built on my server and Jeff's not gonna leave it there forever. Okay. So you can use this to like re duplicate your site from one area to the other. But uh he had a problem, he duplicated it, but it went into a directory, right? And you weren't able to get it out of that directory. I'm sure there's a way we can figure that out. Floating social? These days, being able to share content on social media is a must, and your site has no exception. You need to empower your visitors to share your posts and pages and to spread the word about your business by making it share your content. Floating Social lets you display buttons to let users share your posts and pages by connecting to their social media accounts. So I guess another social media one. This one looks like a search. It looks like it's a date search. Ooh, broken link checker. Disabled comments. Regenerate thumbs. Easy update manager. Redirect, redirect can help manage 301 redirects and keep track of 404 errors without digging into the HT access files. This plugin can be very useful if you're migrating pages from a different website and changing the directory structure of your WordPress installation. Oh, there's a table press. But that's not what. What table one did we use? Didn't I have a oh MCE table? Was it? Yeah. Was that the one I used? Edit flow makes it easy to communicate with your team. It looks like it's a building one. Advanced custom fields. 
Here's the email one. Here's a gallery. There's a lot of gallery ones, but of course, most of the gallery ones give you just a limited gallery, and if you want to make the greatest gallery ever, you got to pay. Then there's another contact form, a widget one. So this one looks like it alters your um, sidebar or your widget. And that's it. Those are the 37 best plugins you'll ever need on your WordPress. Now, if you install all 37, I'm sure your site will go pretty slow. Then you, Yeah, I don't know. I, I just found that. So uh, what are some of the other ones? I had a handout with some other stuff on there. Which one? Oh, yeah, the caching one. Yeah, these are most of the ones that we saw. And then I had another handout. What was in the other part? So yeah, here's a directory for Google. Um, Google has a lot of different plugins that you can incorporate into your um, WordPress site. So I found this directory. It's a, um, Google has their own sort of list of plugins just for Google here. I, I don't know, I was searching and I found this one, so I put it as a link here. Um, Translator is a, a popular one. I'm going to be using the Google Translator plugin in the, the latest um, latest WordPress uh, site that I'm making. So you can see here's the list here. Um, the translator will automatically translate the content of the text to another language. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but um, it's going to be coming very soon. And it, it's a challenge, you know, is the translation good enough? You know, is, wow. you know so some, in some sense it is, if it's a small market. For me, you know, um, you know, if it's a small market, it might be okay. But if it's a, you know, the biggest challenge I have, and if, you, if we look here right now, you'll see. This site right now, um, I have right here international and so I have a flag okay that represents the different countries that will do language in right and so we got Japanese we have New Zealand and we have Australia and the reason why we have Australia and New Zealand separate is because of course they don't those two teams don't like each other you know it's like this you know it's like the sharks playing the penguins <laughs> okay, so those were in English, right? I mean, I mean they're both in English, but they use different words, oh. and they don't like each other. So if they read, if they see the text, they end up, you know, like Australian. Or they see the <laughs> yeah. So, um, but the future, this site will be gone. We're going to make one WordPress site, and they're going to use the Google Translator, so that when you choose the language, it'll automatically read to the text. In the so they claim the people that are building this site. Claim it works. I don't know. I'm skeptical, especially with internet. Because the problem, really, with language translation is not necessarily taking the word and converting it into a different language. It's the way that the language is written, right? The Spanish flip the adjectives, verbs, and nouns around compared right. to the English, right? Right. And so you can't just take the word and convert it into another word. It's not going to mean the same. 
So even though there's a translator, um, it's not that easy. So I'm I'm skeptical of this Google Translation plugin for WordPress. Maybe one of you can try it and let me know how it works. <laughs> one of you try it and let me know. It's fun to try. Just try it. Try it. I want to see it. Just go to the go to the WordPress plugins. Type in. Google Translate, I don't want to see what it does. I didn't have the Google page you do. You can translate any web page to different languages. It helps at some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You, you, you're you going to have to figure out the plugins yourself. They're all kind of all over the place. I can't give you all the solutions to them. Um, I can show you where they're at, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? You want to try the, you want me to try the, um, I don't really have any text, but we can try the translate if you want. What's that? I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Where is it? Where am I at? I'm here. Where's my page? I was working on a page, wasn't I? Yeah. 